Hello friends, welcome back. In this video, we'll talk about angular module and components. All right, so let's begin the video. Now guys, let's think of that you are working on an application called YouTube. And this is the home page, right? Now, for example, if you have to design home page of YouTube, think of this is one module. So entire home page is one module, right? Now, what you can do is to design the home page, you can create multiple components. When I say multiple components, it means the left hand side menu is your one component. Top search bar and these icons is another component. Your banner is another component. This particular section is also another component and where you see recent uploads is another component, right? So basically you are designing the home page of YouTube by using multiple components. Right. So basically module is a container which can contain or which can hold multiple components. All right. So guys module is a place where you can group the components, directives, pipes and services. We'll talk about directives, pipes and services in the coming video. But as of now, think of module is a place where you can group the components. All right. And what is the component? Components are the building block of your application. All right. Now guys, in this video, we are going to create a project called Avengers and we'll create a module called team. Inside this particular module, we are going to have two components. One is Iron Man. Second component is going to be Natasha. So these two are the characters of this particular movie. If time permits, I'm going to create another module called suit. And in this particular module, we are going to have two components. One is Iron Man suit and Natasha suit. All right guys. So let's begin. Let me go ahead and create a new angular project. So I'll open the command prompt to create a new project. The command is ng new and then your project name. So this time we are going to call it Avengers. Enter Y for routing. Hit enter for default. So guys, our project is ready. Let's open this project into VS code, right? So let's command is code dot. All right, guys, now let's go and build our project and start it. So the command to build Angular project is ng build. I hope you guys remember. So build is complete. Let's go and start our project. The command is ng serve. Our project is all set. Now I can access our application localhost 4200 is the port number so guys this is how our application looks like at the moment now what i'm going to do is i will change the look and feel of this particular page all right guys so here what i did i deleted the earlier content and here i have added one image right and one as to take and there is one paragraph where i says welcome to and then this particular thing is known as angular expression language or angular interpolation so basically what i'm doing here is i have a variable called title and i'm passing i'm getting this particular value of this particular variable from my code so if i go to application component.ts here you see i have a title it's my variable and the value is avengers so i want to see welcome to avengers on my page so these two curly braces you can think of these this is the way you write expressions in angular all right under assets folder i created a new folder called images and i have put couple of images here okay now let's go and take a look at our application all right guys so this is how it looks like we have one image right and this is our text and welcome to avengers okay now guys in this video we want to talk about module right so let me open a new terminal and I'm going to write a command to create a module in Angular. ng generate module and then module name. So we are going to create a module called team, right? Now, guys, there's one more way to create a module. ng g for generate, m stands for module and module name. ng g for generate, m for module and team. So what you see now, if you go here inside your root module, you have another folder called team. And if you expand, you will see a file 
team dot module dot ts okay now guys as i said earlier we have a module ready now we are going to add two components so let's go and add our first component called iron main okay so now ng g for generate c for component and then component name right so basically i am going to call its iron main now guys if i run this particular command here i will have new component inside my app folder which is our root module but we want to create our component inside team module right so i will use team slash iron man and then hit enter now guys remember one thing every single module in angular will have these four files one html file one test file one ts file where you will write your code guys this component.ts is like your java class where you write all your business logic component.css is your css file and you see here it says there is one update happened in team.module.ts file okay team module if i expand i have a new component iron main and here i can see all four files cool right now guys if i go and see our application i don't see any changes here right we have got new module we have got new component but still the look and feel and everything remains same as it is there is no change now let's go and use our component so far we have just created our module and a component we haven't used right so i'm going to give you a two step process to use a new module and a component right so first of all you have to go to team module.ts which is the class when you create a module so you will always have a module.ts file with every module okay now guys so this is the standard way you will always have ng module you will always have declaration you will always have imports here i am going to add something called exports exports and here what i want to do is i want to export our component our newly created component which is iron main component and then don't forget to save this file okay control s step 1 is to export the new component okay control s now step 2 we need to go to the root module now guys what do you see here it says declaration it says imports providers and bootstrap right so inside imports we are going to import our newly created module which is team module right team and module team module right step 1 is to export the component the new component step 2 is to import the new module in app module dot ts file and click on save control s right so this is the two step process now if i go and see i don't see any change on the ui right let's go and use the component now right so guys the next step is to you need to go to the component.ts file get the selector which is this one get the value of selector now guys if you go to app module.ts it says that bootstrap app component is going to be the very first component which will be rendered okay so i'll go to app component this particular html file which is here app component.html and i will add our new module here so what i will do i will just write here new module let's call it team module right and i want to use the component which is iron man save so guys what we did so far initially we exported the newly created component second we imported the new module in our root module file which is your app module.ts and then we added the selector into the app component.html why because app component is your bootstrap component okay now let's go and see our application what do you see here new module and your iron man works okay so now let's go and see where do we have this particular content now guys if you go to ironman component.html you will see ironman works is the content from this particular html page to differentiate let's go and add an image here img src assets images and i want to add image called ironman.jpg save this file now let's go and have a look at our application now guys what do you see you see iron man works right and here is the picture of the iron man 
so this particular thing right this content is coming from your new component which is iron man understood okay now let's go and quickly create another component say ng g4 generate c4 component team is the module and i'm going to create a component called natasha inside team module okay hit enter so guys as i said earlier you will always have these four files every single component of your angular application okay now guys if you remember earlier i said that you need to go to your team module.ts and you need to export the component right so this time we are going to export new component called natasha component save now let's go to app module.ts now here you already have your module so no action required now the next thing because you want to render right so you need to get the selector so i'll go to natasha component.ts i'll copy the selector and then i will go to the bootstrap component which is app component right so i'll go to app component.html and here i will use the value of selector save okay guys in case of any errors you make sure that you always save all the files now let's go and take a look at our application it says natasha works okay so if you go and see the html of your natasha component.html this is what it says natasha works now again let's go and add an image here src assets slash images slash natasha dot jpg so guys i have already added these pictures here under assets folder okay now save and let's go and have a look at our application natasha wax and here you see the image okay we created one module called team and inside team we created two components one is iron man second one is natasha cool right now guys let's go and quickly create another module so this time i am going to create ng g4 generate m4 module and say module name is suit okay okay guys now if you go to our root module which is app module you will see a new folder called suit and there is one file suit.module.ts now let's go and create one component here i won't take much time ng g4 generate c4 component inside suit module and i want to call it say iron man suit simple you have got four files so if you go and expand your suit module you have iron man suit and you will see four files here right now guys this time you created another module so suit is our new module right so first of all let's go to our module.ts file and let's go and add exports exports colon i want to export iron man suit component okay so this is done now we will go to app module.ts file you need to import the new module which is suit suit module in your app module.ts file right so this is done now we need to use the ui right the html so we'll go to ironman suit.component.ts file we'll grab the value of selector which is here and i'll go to the app component.html which is here right so what i will do i will simply write here say another p here and say another module is called suit module right because 